Hi, I'm Steve the Golf Guy from San Diego, California, and today I'd like to show you the use and value of videotaping your swing to improve your game. So many golfers are out in the world operating off of a perception of how they feel they swing. They've never had a chance to be videotaped. So their method of learning is going to be to watch the Golf Channel, to watch the networks, listen to the tips, and then try to incorporate that into their game. Unfortunately, the perception of how they feel they swing and the reality of their swing, if it was videotaped, might be completely different. They might actually really like what they see, or they might not like what they see. But by videotaping, you're going to get a clear reality perspective. So I think in that method, we can proceed realistically and build a solid game for each and every golfer. Now, I think if, if each of you are in a series of lessons, it would be a reasonable request of the instructor to ask him for a DVD so you'd have the visual and the audio from the lesson on a DVD that you can take home and study. Then what you have at the lesson is not this fear of forgetting important points that were presented to you, but a comfortableness of and relaxing to really enjoy the session because you can go home and review it at your own pace. Now my suggestion would be to probably take another lesson in three or four weeks when you've really worked on this and kind of take a slow pace to building this foundation. It might take you six months, nine months, or a year to kind of do this, but if you come back each week without a videotape or an audio to take home with you, many, many times if you stay on the same subject, you're gonna be repeating the same lesson. So I think, again, it's a reasonable request to ask your instructor for that. Now I wanna show you three different angles to videotape from today so that I think you can see yourself at these different angles and I'm going to try to point out fundamentals within the swing that you'll be looking at when you check yourself against more of this of a standard uh, golf model. First I'm going to start by a back angle and the reason I'm doing this is most of the tournaments are filming from the back angle because the cameraman can get back in there with the caddy and the player rather than being on the sides where all the spectators are. And the way I set the camera up is about head high like you see and I come in and I come in about a foot beat inside the ball. So if you look at the ball, which is a little further away because I'm going to be swinging through this. So actually the ball would probably be here. I'm going to put it right here so that I can swing through and the distance the camera angle is kind of coming about right in here. I'd rather have you in here than out. It's a little bit better angle here in a perspective. I'd rather have you in here rather than right behind your hip. So as I'm coming through in here, I can quickly go through a couple of the, the pointers that you'll see. You'll see a basic standard position, knees bent a little bit. You'll see the club being drawn in straight back to uh, straight back. You're coming up into a position here where you're forming a triangle. You're coming back down into the shot here. You're seeing your heel is up at contact and you're getting a nice finish on the left side of your face forming another triangle. That's a really good angle to film from. Another angle to film from which you often don't see is kind of coming from what I would term a back right diagonal. If I put my arm straight out and I put my arm straight out this way, I'm forming a 90 degree angle. The camera basically right now is bisecting that angle at about 45 degrees. So if I swing through at this angle, just so you can see, it really shows you a nice perspective of kind of coiling and then uncoiling. And in a good golf swing, what you're doing, when you set up in position three, Basically, you're going back and turning your shoulders 90 degrees. And then to come through the shot, you're coming back to the original position and then finishing another 90. So the, the swing is really this way 90, this way 180. So it's coiling, coiling in 90 and uncoiling 180. So if we think through that, watch kind of this and see if you can see that pattern. 90, 180. And oftentimes within that swing also, what you want to do is go back slow and accelerate through the shot because in all sports you accelerate through ball contact and go through. Just like a baseball player would accelerate, tennis, racquetball, squash, they all accelerate through the ball. And this is a really nice angle to see that from. Another angle to see this from is a front position a little bit to the left of a straight line. 
So if I want to look at a straight line down the fairway right here, the camera right now is a little bit off to the left. Actually, I've measured it and it's seven feet off to the left. So now, he's swinging at this angle, it's really good to see three things. The setup back in here, coming down and really seeing that head down at contact, and then that good finish on the left side where you see that triangle being formed to the left of my face. So as I swing through, good position, good position, good position to see. All of those will give you such a nice angle to analyze your game. Now, let me go back through here and point out a couple more things in detail so that we can make sure that we see what we're supposed to be looking for in the swing. Right here, position one, knees bent, arms hanging down, below the shoulders, bring the club back in the inside to this position. Position two, arms straight back here, close straight back, three, come up and form that good triangle. Go up a channel, come down a channel. Make contact, have your heel off, have your hips coming through, head down, watch that ball meet the club. And then position five, be really strong on this side. Triangle to the left of my face, heel up, hips facing into the target. So as you have a chance to videotape, it will help you immensely. Take a slow, realistic approach to this. Take some time to improve your game, but feel comfortable about who you are and operate in reality rather than perception. I wish you luck. Look at all your goals and dreams and steadily improve so that you can reach them. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve the Golf Guy and my tip today is going to be on working on your follow through and making sure that you get through that shot so a lot of those shots aren't getting pushed off to the right. And the drill I'm going to show you is kind of, it's probably termed more of a pullback drill because you're pulling the club back into a position and let me show it to you. It's really, really athletically good to come back in and, and you'll swing and as I swing I come all the way through it and I really finish strong, but then I do is I bring the club back at an angle so the butt of the club is pointing back at the camera and the club is pointing down the fairway. It really emphasizes getting in here and through the shot. So on the follow through, that club is pointing right down the fairway, then you follow through, and then you with really good force of your arms, pull that club back and you can see how my arms have gotten through and the club is pointing this way. Now, I'm gonna show you a different angle. I'm gonna show you an angle of coming right at the camera so that again you can kind of see how this pulls back. And now the club is pointing to you, the camera, but you can see my arms. So right into here, you come back and you swing, you follow through, you get through the shot, and then you pull back into this position. I can guarantee you, if you do that a lot, really good workout, really forces you to get to the club through the ball, it forces you to get to the left side on a follow through, and it will help you with some of those shots that you're pushing off to the right. So it's a good drill, it's actually a good little workout, I think it'll help you with your follow through tremendously. Thank you very much.